business. So it's been kind of busy in that way. I've done a little bit of discovery process work with a set of clients. We're on day two of the process and uh, it went really well. And I'm starting to kind of put it into a format and have some strategies because when I used to do it before, I was kind of just winging it. So now I'm putting process in place with it. So I'm getting more opportunities to work with that a little bit. I haven't had a chance to look at, thanks Nova for sending me that link. I haven't had a chance to play with it yet. I'll be doing that this week. So otherwise minus 50 weather, been pretty yucky here. <laughs> um, how about you Nova? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm doing good. Um, I don't want to brag, but it's, I went to the beach yesterday. It was super nice. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's raining again today, but it's been pretty nice weather lately. Um, uh, yeah, I was telling uh, Captain Sweep that uh, I'll, be, I'll be starting school on March 1st. He was, oh. he was super thrilled to hear that. <laughs> what are you taking? Uh, actually, I'm taking a Bachelor of Software Engineering uh, with a major in game programming. Are you? Cool. Congratulations. Yeah, so I'm going to attempt to be just as useful and uh, and, and capable on our, our team after that starts. But obviously, my, my schedule in general will be more full. But I don't intend that that should impact what we're doing very much. Wow. That's great. And, but yeah, uh, also I'm I'm seeing someone. Uh, nice. I like her, and yeah, it's pretty cool. I'll have more details at some point. We we haven't met <laughs> too long ago, but feels pretty good. Nice. <laughs> you're going to school, and you started seeing someone. <laughs> yeah, what my life goes on any time. Anytime. None. Time's <laughs> gone. <laughs> Wait, should I program I like, or be the woman? I like to mix my priorities and get all the boxes checked. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, but that's my check in. I'll leave it at that. Nice, nice. Elijah, can I just step back in for one minute because I forgot to mention the Learning Center. So the Learning Center, what we did, we had a meeting the other night for four hours and just brainstorming and using the tools. We were using the compass, the 147 in the inner group map. And we came up with a new name. It used to be called the Life Matters Learning Center. And we just decided that was kind of dead. For some reason, it just wasn't working out. We shifted the color. It used to be orange. We shifted the color to blue, which is the three learning education color. And then we are calling it the Visionary Hub. So we did that on Thursday night. So now this Thursday, I have a meeting with one of the girls that we're starting to put the programs together that we want to run in there. Carrie doesn't know anything, Elijah, about the mapping system. She knows a little bit about it, but not a lot. So I'm going to be working with her Thursday night. So she's a principal in a school in Regina, about two hours away, and she's just tired of being in that system. So she's excited for what everything's going to bring through the learning system. So I forgot to say that. That's a big part of everything. <laughs> it's huge. So the visionary hub. Visionary hub. Lara, how are you doing over there? Um, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I'm in a bit of a different state today. I just found out that like my my best friend growing up and a boyfriend for years in my younger life um, is dying today. So, Aww. so I'm just, uh, yeah, processing that. I just kind of found that out right before um, this meeting. So I'm just processing that a little bit. Um, yeah, uh, brain cancer, so. He's like done this like assisted death thing or I don't know yeah so yeah it's just heavy um other than that um I'm 
finding my humor and my joy. I'm actually um, making things and doing things, kind of. <laughs> and uh, um, I made a big list of products. Um, and Elijah, did you work on, did you put, add anything to that? A little bit. Okay. I was doing more um, formatting. Formatting, than, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, so I wrote a list of things that are um, uh, products, things mm -hmm. that are uh, products for um, the new Paradigm Toolkit. And um, yeah, that's a long list. I could share it maybe, or yeah. If you want. Well, what about after, after we check in, yeah. then each mm -hmm. person can kind of share what they want. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sending you love, girl. Thank you. Do you know what you want to check in? Yeah, I did a little check in already. Um, I'm feeling good. I just came from a walk at a beautiful dance experience. So this week, you know, processing some things with my girlfriends and working on my finances so that I feel more stable. And um, yeah, in terms of the group here, I haven't done a lot this week. But um, like in that conversation with Elijah about just still on, you know, just investigating a little bit about setting up a corporation. And um, yeah, maybe I should connect and get like once Elijah wants you and Lara figure out these, these products, maybe we can, then we can figure out the list of things that go on an Indiegogo campaign. Um, but other than that, I haven't really done much for you guys this week sorry um but i'm here in presence mm -hmm. thank you jordan from the dark yeah from behind the name um i like what laurie said about uh the new tools and the structures to sit new tools in I feel, yeah, very much in just like calibration of new light, new energy, and um, feeling the the energy of community and our communal momentum. And I'm noticing my project with the nine videos is what I'm seeing occurring is instead of the focus being on the development of the nine videos in particular, it seems to be a background, like a foundational support is developing all around those nine videos. So a bunch of different content medias, some that I've worked with Captain Sweep on personally, the two of them that he's featured in, are forming and developing, which kind of allow more of like a, can I say like a resonant echo backboard for understanding of what the nine videos are about. So it's kind of like the nine videos are now placeholders where information will be, you know, will be forming. But right now there's a structure of other content that's building around those nine slots in order to hold those videos up. So it's all kind of coming together. And now there's like a little stocking, you know, at the shape of a stocking. And then we can make these videos, the information in these videos, like the, the stocking stuffers, right? It's a Christmas. Um, <laughs> metaphor <laughs> in case you missed that one well i'm thinking it may be christmas by the time we get the videos i'm not sure <laughs> <laughs> they're coming we got good stuff i like what i'm seeing it's coming together fast and, and it looks it looks sweet it looks very sweet <laughs> okay so uh does everyone want to know would you want to give a bit of a report on the situation of zipra duct Okay, yeah. Also, I forgot to mention in my check-in one more thing. Uh, I'm also going to be attending the Lydia Foundation uh, Holistic Training Program. Oh, wow. Forgot that too. <laughs> yeah, so that's yeah. pretty sweet. Oh. That's like full time. Oh, it's my, yeah. Two Sorry, the Lucia, with the what training program? Sorry? Uh, the Holistic Visionings Training Program or Visions Training Program. With who? Luciel. Uh, Luciel. Oh, Luciel. Okay. Wow. I've heard that's going to be a bit of work. Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to take it on. I was invited by my good friend and uh, I'm going to oh. take on the challenge and it looks really, really cool. Excellent. 
That is cool. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, as far as the update, or sorry. Well, I was just thinking, okay, so starting March 1st, you've got your game is launching. You're starting a university. Well, that's course. true. You're starting a new relationship and you're starting LCL and you're the only guy who can do any programming on this project. <laughs> <laughs> right, which which kind of brings me to my weekly update. Um, yeah, I just talked about how, how I have so many great things that I'm doing and also that we want to do some great things together on, on IT side. So I'm thinking the solution to that is that, uh, yeah, same thing. We just need to get a few more people on board who want to do some IT. And uh, I can definitely um, like manage the IT team kind of thing and also put more work in myself and make sure that, you know, we're on track and work with Elijah so he doesn't have to micromanage everyone as well and just kind of, yeah, keep things hopefully going even stronger and you know, uh, more work done with a few extra people. So uh, I, I'll just to expand on that, we talked about, you know, how to do that. Um, we definitely kind of all thought about our, our networks and who we might know. But another uh, option I was looking at is um, there's quite a few websites where you can post volunteer jobs, uh, remote IT volunteer jobs. And, you know, as an incentive, what are they going to get? A lot of people just want to practice their skills, but actually we can offer them, you know, some pretty good experience working on a, a project that when it's finished, I think will look quite impressive on someone's resume to be able to say, you know, I did uh, all the graphic <laughs> design on, on you know, this uh, paradigm toolkit, uh, new paradigm toolkit, or I was, you know, one of the programmers that made all these different tools and, you know, so I think we could probably attract a few people that way and then get them on board and kind of work them into our plan here. So, you know, we might not get it done tomorrow or maybe maybe not this week, but hopefully soon. Yeah, hopefully hopefully before March 1st, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping. So we can have a onboarding and kind of get the ball rolling. And then I was thinking personally as well to to kind of keep the organization of that, I would open a Basecamp uh, account and kind of have, it's really good at keeping track of tasks and who's doing what and the progress on stuff. And it's easier to, to manage a remote team that way. So it's kind of the thoughts I've had anyway. Um, I, I sent you a few, those few messages today, just about the, the save as button, the save as PDF, save as PNG, the backgrounds. Right. Is that possible? Like, do you think you'll be able to do that before March 1st? Uh, I'm just looking at it again. Um, oh yeah, one thing is uh, you. It should be able to. You should be able to click on any of the cards now uh, on the spell, and they should all go to the website that Elijah set up now. I, I think I've gotten that straight note. Um, that's huge. Yeah, and then as that website expands, that's just a, a massive amount of content and, and links back to other tools and things that we can promote and sell and, and kind of all integrate together. So then, then that way, Elijah, then you can go save as and save that spell and then just kind of work it through a series. Okay, that's, yeah. perfect. that's perfect. I mean, that that's like the aim right now, what's missing um, is there's no save as a PDF, which the form which I sent to you. So hopefully we'll be saving as a PDF and then saved as a PNG, which then can be shared like on Facebook or something like that. Oh, okay. And then, uh, the backgrounds, we have an artist who's allowed us to use a bunch of backgrounds. So we're going to have a rotating background in the background. So it'll be the spell, but a really sort of interesting picture in the back. And that's, again, sort of a novelty and uh, for what it will look like. And then we need a membership. The membership, like they have, we got to get their emails for when they, they sign up to participate. And so that begins the process of, of bringing them into being a facilitator and um, opening up some business revenue streams. So Nova, is there, is it possible for you to get all that finished before March 1st? Um, yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, and I think like you and me were talking on another uh, meeting there, I think it does make sense uh, for efficiency sake at the moment to uh, concentrate on the web version, the, you know, desktop version, get that 100% done. And then we can, you know, uh, looking at the, the thing as it is, we can review it, everyone, you know, okay, now we like it like this, or we should change this. 
But once we have it 100% done here for desktop, which I think we can definitely do before March 1st, uh, then we can create a mobile version from that and say, okay, well, we should, you know, how do we want it to look and what, what differences might there be? Uh, and then later on, we will, you know, look into creating an actual app that you can download on the iStore or Google Play Store. Mm -hmm. So I think with that progression, it makes sense and we can continue to roll out other tools in that way. I think it's a good, good uh, system. Yeah. yeah, but yes, I think I can get all that done for the desktop version by March 1st before. Because if you can get that done, then we can sort of start to work on the business angles. Uh, but if it isn't done, we kind of can't do anything until that. And then I'm hoping to be able to attract other people based upon showing this is what we've done, this is what we need, and do you want to participate sort of thing. Because I, I think, yeah, after March 1st, you're going to be more in a managing point of view, and um, we, we have to get some other people on board. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, I think that makes sense. Um, do we want to use it a bit? Uh, I'd like to show you guys what we're talking about in terms of you press the card, it goes to the website. So I'll just uh, bring that up. And So does someone want to go first with a question? Laura, you want to give one around your vision hub? Oh, okay. Um, will the vision hub or, or what does the vision hub need to launch for the first day of spring? So March 20th, 2021. So what does a Vision Hub need to launch or to relaunch March 20th, 2021? Yeah. Oh. Conflict resolution and potential. Oh. Okay, so potential. What is an available in an individual, a moment, an event, a conversation, or a cycle to bring into physical existence. So potential I see already, Carrie and I, because we're going to be more the trainers, I think. And um, her having the academic background, there's oh, it went to Weebly or something. Went to Weebly 404. Yes. So, so that's been happening oh, a few, few times. Yeah, um, if you noticed... Uh, the the actual if you go back to the other one you'll see why that happened uh-huh i need a picture of this this is cool yeah if you click on potential again oh. so just to show at, a, at the values it goes to enthusiasm where it has a door for get training uh -huh. has, has oh. the value and then has perhaps a video wow but, cool. the, but the idea is the doors there and then what we do is we find like i mean you would be a beautiful uh, teacher and enthusiasm lori oh like, that was right up my alley so that could be a, a like a, a stream of you could have an enthusiasm course and you could have students in how to be more enthusiastic so everyone here could choose a value that you feel very strongly about and then this would be one way of bringing clients to you so what we want is like this to you know the the oracle brings the people in then you go to the website and then the website brings you into the other oh. courses wow this is really cool hmm. yeah yeah so i see like potential Attention. and then the enthusiasm and then what was the other one uh conflict resolution oh, so what's yeah. the, what's this nova so yeah if you look up at the url potential is spelt wrong uh and that's oh, because that's, that's actually my end that's no, okay. this is that's on my end, sort of, because the file name for the picture is spelled that way, apparently. So I can change that. I'll just rename it and then change. So, so should, I, should I change on my end or you're going to change? No, you don't have to do anything. But if you want to show the potential page and just double check that it works, you could just refix the spelling there. And OK, I'll like, just go check that. Yeah. No, no. I mean, like it's it spelled correctly on your website. It is? 
You just have I'm to sure. change it in the URL there. Yeah, like if you go back to the 404 page there. Yeah, yeah. but it looks like it's on my, my website. No, no, because just change the spelling. It's a it's a T instead of an S there. Yeah. No, just I see that. I see that. Mm -hmm. But is right, that but if you if you just change the S to a T right now, then we'll know if it's your website or not. Okay. Also, but I'm pretty sure it's just my end. Enter. Okay, nothing's happening. Mm, yeah, just press enter. Yep. Yeah, so it's it's just my end. I'll fix okay. that today. Okay. It's funny how it goes to all the, the little areas. But anyway, so as you see, right, the idea is that, um, yeah, you go straight. And the block, like the, the conversations and these lenses are all blogs. So the idea was to find, let's say, conflict resolution expert or blog. And that this is where all the information and knowledge around conflict resolution goes. So we have people that are teachers in each one of those mm -hmm. and that they, they're the ones who curate that blog. So we're going to have like over 300 blogs. So it's, it's going to be a massive repository for, for learning at some point. Wow. But we got to find the people to, uh, yeah, I know. Yeah. but the idea is that each of us, like, let's say if Chinoa wanted to be the conflict resolution expert or something like the idea is that the, the people, us at the beginning, get to choose what you want to do. Mm -hmm. And um, yes. So what? So does that say something to you, uh, Lori? Oh, definitely. Like I was saying with the potential, you know, with Carrie and I coming together to start creating some content because she works more on authenticity and gratitude and stuff. I work more with the Enneagram with the personalities and how certain parts of our personalities and depending how healthy they are. So the potential I see is, is, you know, being available, her and I, to start creating, to create an event, to open up the, reopen the visionary hub. And then the enthusiasm, that's just a no brainer <coughs> for me, because I believe fun and enthusiasm, enthusiasm has to be in everything that we do, no matter what we're working with. There's got to be a content of that. But the conflict resolutions to work towards a state of harmony between incompatible perspectives. I haven't seen any of that in the group of us that are together uh, creating the visionary hub. I haven't seen any of that yet. We do have a young girl that's 20 years old on there. Kaylee, you met her, Elijah. Yeah, yeah she's great. She's going more on a resilience training, performance training, and how to work with anxiety and stuff like that, because that's what she's worked her way through. And she's right. young. So there's a little bit of conflict there because she's jumping ahead of herself without the knowledge. Right. So that would be the only place I see that. This is great. Well, I, I was wondering about maybe offering conflict resolution courses. I think conflict resolution is yes. a massive uh, problem. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so to look at the vision hub is like, I mean, each one of the conversation types in a sense could be a training course or it could be something that is uh, brought in at a, at a certain point. Um, maybe you could do conflict resolution with the beginning of the convo cards and then having, um, you know, again, using divination to, to, to change how people see things. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, just an idea. That's, this Love is it. great. And now there's going to be a save as button, right? So if we're yeah. working on this over time, this is great. Yeah. Wow. Um, yeah. The, and then the save as a PDF, it comes out in a form that you can use to sort of have a spell book um, oh, okay. so you can start to sort of capture them as, as you go. Okay. Well, thank you. Do you want one Nova? Uh, sure. Yeah. Um, how to schedule how your I, time. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. How will, or how, yeah. How should I say it? How, how will I uh, perfectly manage all of my, uh, pursuits. My, uh, <laughs> pursuits. Yeah, I like that. This should be a good one. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how many people use it. I, I'm starting to use it a lot. Whenever I have a question, like let's say how to talk to somebody, um, doesn't mean I necessarily follow it, but I. Uh, 
How will go with first advantage? Really gives guidance, that's for sure. Kindness, investigation, illumination. Okay. Yeah, I think that sounds pretty good. How do you see that? Um, well, yeah, I guess keeping kindness as a value uh, in in everything that I do with all my pursuits is, is pretty good, pretty good uh, value. Um, the illumination lens is quite interesting. Um, what does that say? The enlightenment of society through peaceful and educational ways that gives an alternative to normal politics. Yeah. Um, I guess, I guess, yeah, for me, at least this, this means kind of like seeing how I will perfectly manage all my pursuits through the lens of illumination. It kind of gives me a uh, forward looking way of, of seeing it. Uh, like, you know, all the things that I'm doing, why am I doing them? Ultimately, yeah, I, I would love to see the enlightenment of society through peaceful and educational ways that does give an alternative to normal politics. I think the whole new paradigm toolkit and what you've created is is a stepping towards that. So that helps me kind of understand that. The loose the LCL program I think is very similar to that kind of goal as well. And ultimately, I want to do my degree so that uh, I can, you know, uh, learn the skills that I, I don't have, get a, a job that that pays me pretty good, so that I have the the uh, kind of resources and stability in order to work on some of the more um the more philanthropy philanthropy oh, wow. projects that i really want to work on and investigation yeah i'll have to do a lot of investigation uh in general of like what does it say the, to find out what is required to be uncovered when with a go set goal in mind yeah that's pretty relevant in general to, to this question i think does anyone have a question insight or intuition see that kindness nova like you say kindness is a really awesome value and the kindness towards yourself because you're right there's quite a few projects and different things and a new relationship in there so it's being kind to you that would be key i could feel that in that part. oh he left now what, me i'm still here where'd you go me <laughs> you popped out for a minute Oh, I'm that still, was, uh, I don't know. Ghost in the machine. <laughs> Anybody else? Yeah. Well, I was going to say this, the same thing, like valuing, like kindness to yourself. And investigation is always about keeping an open mind and, uh, and um, not getting too attached to one thing because it's going to be new things to discover. Um, yeah. And illumination to me is always like looking for the light, like the little light bulbs, like those things that like light up for you that kind of guide your way. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Cool. I think you're going to need a lot of illumination. To... <laughs> but I think the light shows you the way, right? I mean, you're kind of like you're juggling lots of things, but you're working on some bigger picture things that kind of gives perspective to everything so um, yeah you know as far as the, the the pursuits the goals i have i definitely would like to keep uh, a forward looking on something higher yeah not just oh i want to go to school to make money and i gotta you know do this do that no it, it's really all working towards some higher goals than that well and I'm hoping that the, the money will come from this and other projects that generate it from the work that we're doing right now. So, okay, um, that's awesome. Who would like to go next? Lara? Uh, I don't really have a question right now. I don't think I do. What about a, can you do a divination one? Okay. Just to see kind of how it works for you. Which, which arena? Um, let's go intimate. Uh, 
<laughs> was it was it was uh, earlier today, Nova? It was doing this like it wouldn't bring things up. Like the last two days, it's been doing this about fifty percent of the time. I don't know. Did you change uh -huh. something or? Um, I'll have to run some tests. I'm not sure why that's happening. Um, hmm. Um, hey, that happened to me as well. Uh, would, like how long ago? Well, the last two days, about 50% of the spells I've done. Wow, okay. Out of, out of like 10 to 20 spells, half were this. So was okay. it working out every second one or was it working out? Because this is the third one we're doing now. Right. I didn't Yeah. Know. Any rip 50 percent of the time, usually it was it was doing this. You know, you could do it again; it would be fine, kind of. But I didn't know why. I thought maybe because of what you put on to the matching to the to the pages. Yeah, it's probably because of the work I did to link them. Because I had to rename all the files, so I probably screwed something up, and I can't find one of the things that's trying to show right now. So it's locked it. But yeah, um, maybe just do a write your own question and put what what pattern. Does Lara need to change if we want to still do that question? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Let's go this one, yeah. What pattern do I need to change? Oh. Oh wow. Oh, <laughs> holy God. <laughs> what? That's great. This is wow. awesome. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. Well. Yeah. I'm just writing it down. Uh, yeah, that really, that really works. Definitely, I need to use the value of concentration to redesign um, the parts about me that needs to be productive and concentrate on that for all these products. And yeah, I need to do some serious repatterning inside myself. Let's see, what does that say? I got to move this thing over. Uh, Laura, can you read that out loud, that repattering? Yeah, a reappraisal of history to create a truer recounting of the events that occurred to better understand the present and lead to more uh, balanced future. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. mm. That is a really good one. Mm -hmm. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Some of these patterns are like, wow. Oh. <laughs> what pattern does it see? The repattern. Repattering. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Comes up, right? <laughs> you know, like, it's pretty good. And it, it is a lot around concentration. Like I'm concentrating on one thing at a time and following through is a thing that's hard for me lately. Oh my God, I totally forgot. Uh, there's, a, there's a bird in the house upstairs. I totally forgot. <laughs> Speaking of concentrating on something, I was gonna concentrate on how, having to get the little Finch out of my bedroom <laughs> and I did not I totally forgot about it <laughs> I do you have to go finch finch moving I might yeah it, well I want to do it before it gets dark because yeah you, you can you can move to other things if you need you need to repattern yourself right now 
<laughs> I might need to. This is important. <laughs> don't want. Well, let me just, uh, I'll be right back. I'm just going to check here. Okay. Giordino. Oh, unless anyone else has, does anyone else have anything to say about it or? <laughs> I'm still in shock. I... Yeah, that's me too. Go I... deal with your finch. Okay. Giordino. Hola. How about a question? Okay, how can I best incorporate music in my uh, workflow? And there is a mermaid on my debit card next to a lighter. Just so you guys know. <laughs> hey. Did you also get that message? No, but we need about 20 more characters on this. Uh, there's a few times I've been asking a question and there wasn't enough room. Oh, oh yeah, okay. And did you did you link it to New Paradigm Toolkit yet, the website? Uh, do you mean, uh, well, I linked the cards. What do you What do you mean? Not the card, remember we got the New Paradigm Toolkit uh, URL? Oh, I will do that right after the meeting. Okay. We're yeah, got got it. Uh, we, we got the new paradigm toolkit.com and we're going to link the Weebly site to that. So we're entering the land of professionalism. Perfect. Uh oh, looks like it might be another I'm curious, one. just try. Why don't you? I'm curious, mm -hmm. Elijah, why don't you just click like um, reload the page and see if they come up? No, nah, it'll, it'll go back to the start. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll fix this today for sure. Whatever's going on here. Okay. Yeah, you can. I've been pretty busy the last couple of days, and I just didn't see your messages to to fix this in time for the meeting. It is. Mm. Well, how can Jordan best incorporate music in his work? I like that question. Mm -hmm. Sounds like the answer to the funnest uh, game life ever. Want? Oh, that's an interesting one. I've been I've been practicing uh, playing with uh, desire, like, and want, and rotating them out and seeing what the different vibrational fields I create by the different focus. Equanim equanimity, to value the quality of being calm and even tempered. Oh, come, oh, very nice. Okay, I like, I'm gonna relate this back to the um, conflict resolution of our, of our uh, last spell or recent spell. We went off the we went off the page. What was the what was the uh, conversation type? Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, did you uh, did you raise the spell? Is, oh, gifting. Oh, fantastic. Okay, yeah, totally. I want to promote people's work. I would like that. I want that. I want to promote people's work um, by gifting them um, kind of promotional material where I am turning their brand, their culture, their voice into music. So almost like I am walking Disney musical. And uh, there's all different types of genres of music and I can equate um, an understanding of an individual organization's culture through melody and rhythm that can convey a very clear rhythmic understanding of the culture. So the culture isn't just spoken at you, it's actually embedded in your uh, ner nerve, nervous system, like your interactivity of physicality, because it's actually moving you. So it moves through you. It's not just intellectual. I want to bring people's culture into the, like I want to, to vibrate the water of individuals listening to, uh, to the material. And, and have us actually resonating um, the, the, uh, the light 
or the um, the uh, the vibrational centerfold of uh, whatever culture I'm uh, relating upon. Okay. Does anyone else have something to add? It would be really great to start with every, the people on the team with Elijah's work. I've already started with the nine videos um, and also with um, um, Laura with uh, the Nini News. I'm really curious. Is she there? She's gone. I'm here. Yeah, I'm curious to see where musicality meets your Sesame Street-esque style of uh, Nini News. <laughs> in terms of video production and music production and collaborate. Music. Whatever, yeah, what, it, what you're exploring in the show. Um, I never thought about that. <laughs> like, I guess, um, I guess you have to have a certain right to use certain music, right? You can't- Oh no, we would make the music. Okay. Oh, totally. Yeah, no, I've got a guitar sitting right here on my lap. And, uh, welcome to the Nini News. It's very easy. And we're just gonna, Perfect. we're just gonna talk about what you want to say and turn it into musicality that can, like, uh, can, you know, shift all around the world. Nice. That's amazing. Okay. Yeah. Um, basically, like that. <laughs> <laughs> very very quick yeah very very functional but like um yeah using yeah using the words yeah or even just yeah within a tone you could use different tones for different songs but with different words absolutely i'd add one more piece in there to say just to kind of do the foreshadow of the future i'd like to link melodies melody motifs to food to scent and to flavors and link those flavors to concepts. Oh, it's a little far reaching, but through Elijah's maps, when we're inflammatricing, we have the spells right now. Imagine mm -hmm. if the spells, the value combo type and the lens were like flavors and we could actually like masticate on those values or those ideas and yeah. almost chew melody into our system. That was like a mantra of that um, like uh, perpetuating that vibrational field. Mm -hmm. Gamify mm -hmm. that. It sounds maybe a little complicated, but it's going to come out in a really fun gamified way that's very easy to understand and follow. Mm -hmm. That kind of ties into what I was uh, thinking about for each um, package, like each package for um, for a lesson to add a certain crystal in it. So then, um, so that way it also like, it's a meditation crystal that can, you can meditate on that certain thing that you're learning. Um, I like that, a meditation crystal that you can meditate on. Yeah, yeah. So it comes with each package um, that, uh, that we- That's that cool. Yeah. And maybe even a scent too, like the, an essential oil. That would be awesome to bring in, Ooh, bring in as well, yeah. Yes, absolutely. Then you get, yeah, you get all the... Imagine culturing the Nini News by scent. That would be know? cool. I think the French would very much enjoy that. You know, mm -hmm. I think they would very much appreciate that and perpetuate that through like the European market. Mm -hmm. Maybe even down the road, we could have a uh, kind of a, a premium card set uh, that would be scratch and sniff. Oh, oh my God, All right. I love it. Sexy. Okay, I have a question. So my question is, um, how do I best approach fundraising for the NPT? Uh, you should be able to put up to 76 characters now instead of 50. Excellent. And it wouldn't be that hard to put a sound on. I think that there should be some background sound as the, as the uh, spell loads, like a whoosh or 
Anyway, yeah, actually, uh, I've, I've been looking into sounds, free free sounds um, for my game, and I can send, um, give anyone a link if they want to like, you just kind of look through them and, and see which package of sounds or whatever you think would be good. Um, but it, it just takes, like, there's a lot of good free sound packages that, you know, royalty free for creative common use, but you just have to kind of look through them, play them on your computer, see what you think, and then choose one, and then we just have to put a credit for the author somewhere. But if someone was willing to take on that at some point, I could maybe we could delegate that to a team member, and I could. I'd like to, I'd like to work with you on that one. That sounds like a cool partner partner um, plan. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. We'll like tuning link. into the radio frequency. Hmm. I, I think it's hugely important. The sound. You're right. Like, yeah. Like you do the spell, and there's this. Whatever is going to be that sound is 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 like a, like a Walt Disney da da like like it's it's going to be a huge part of it. Totally, I'm picturing like a tone and almost like you have the spell now that you're looking at, and I want to look through something. I want to look through Elijah's maps, maps on maps, so looking through maps, and almost like when you put a a map lens in front of the spell, the tone changes, right? Again, it's a little far, but I feel like with musicality and the Nini News and what we're kind of equating here, it's going to make a lot of sense and gonna, it's going to um, manifest in a log logical sense. Is that, is, can, you, can you follow that thread? Almost like you're, you're tweaking the, your angle looking through the maps to look at the spell from different angles and it's changing the sound. Nice. I don't yeah, think we're quite special, there. But... That's a special note for for no yeah. guys, but mostly. Sorry. That's a special note for you, if we're gonna collab on that uh, on that that sound frequency alignment uh, page. Yeah, no, I'm super interested in that. And yeah, you just made me think of, or maybe this is what you intended. But yeah, what if you know, as the three cards appear, a tone for each card goes off. You know, depending on the card, or like that gives you a musical harmony for each spell. That'd be, be different. Nice. That'd be really nice. I like gongs. Oh. I think a gong would be mm. good. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah. A gong underwater. <laughs> Life. Oh, nice one. Nice. Goal <laughs> ingestion combo. You know, that is the conversation for bringing resources into a system. Yeah, three, two, look at that. What kind of convo is the ingestion one? It's an infrastructure? Yeah, it's, it, it is the, it, when you bring resources into the system, that's an ingestion conversation. So it's, it's almost perfect. <laughs> and switch. Switch the pair of that. What does it say? Switch to turn, shift, or divert. Oh, okay. And life to value the force that makes or keeps something alive, the vivifying or quickening principle. So okay. We, we honor life in the new paradigm. Mm -hmm. Can you read their life one again? Because I can't really see it. Oh, to there. value the force that makes or keeps something alive, the vivifying or quickening principle. Mm -hmm. Ingestion. To discuss the entry of any resource into the system. Okay. And a quickening principle. <laughs> So I have to think of it like a resource, I guess, that I'm, I'm looking for resources yeah. and putting resources into the system. Okay. Hmm. So say there's resources out there in the world and I've got to redirect them towards this system, towards the new paradigm toolkit. So it's 
And just by valuing the force that makes something, makes or keeps something alive, the vilifying or quickening principle. Okay. So value life and use the skill of redirecting energy into the resources or resources into the system. Okay. And I, I would think it's like people who are interested in the paradigm switch the paradigm. Uh, you know, I think if we don't do this, our species could die. Like we're killing ourselves. So to value life. Mm. I have a like, question if it's my turn. Yeah. Oh, another oh, question. Oh, oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> Uh, how will the earth survive humanity? <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. That's a cool question, Nova. Yeah, very cool. Oh, no. <laughs> It won't. Uh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> the, the AI is saying, sorry, pal. You're. <laughs> See? Well, maybe yeah, I'll have to try it we'll again. Ask again. Yeah, I was, I was wanting to use it today, but it kept doing that. Maybe the other way around is how will humanity survive Mother Earth when she lets loose? What's coming? How will Earth survive humanity? How will Earth survive humanity? Uh oh. There's no answer. Nine point nine. Third time's a charm, I hope. Three. There's four, but it looks like five. Five. Okay. Well, that was. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh, it's not loading this one. It doesn't want to load that 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 and that spell, eh? Let's, ask, let's change the question a little bit. Yeah, three times in a row. That's not not mm. a good question. Doesn't want to give us the answer to that today. I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think the fourth one's going to work. How can well, we survive ourselves? Survive as humanity. How can we survive as a species? Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe we've come to the, this is where it goes. You've, you've used all your spells up, insert more money. Uh, yeah, oh, more I just okay. did it on my, oh. I just asked a question on my laptop. Uh -huh. Separate. And I asked, how will humanity survive when the earth unleashes? Yeah. And the, Whoa, and, the end, and what did what showed up? Uh, the value I got was excellence Lovely. to value reaching the highest standards. Mm -hmm. And the convo card is stewardship conversation. Mm. Wow. Sexy. Dele delegating. Delegating mm. tasks, missions, and work to specific people to complete for them to complete. And the lens I got was a synergy lens and it's transformation. Oh. Um, and the transformation, it says, 
the subsystem that assists the system's members to transform to a higher level of consciousness. Wow. Oh. That all sounds super accurate. Yeah. That would be a great show discussion for like an hour for. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. Like, you know, for us, it's like doing the best we can, reaching the highest standards, mm -hmm. delegating, getting everyone involved, right? And reaching for a higher state of consciousness. Was there a hmm. word in between excellence and delegation? Uh, well, a delegating is a stewardship conversation. Stewardship. Yeah. Beautiful. I yeah. like that. Well. Excellent stewardship and delegation is gorgeous. Delegation, delegating is the stewardship convo. And then the lens, the synergy lens, is uh, transformation. Basically transforming to a higher state of consciousness. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I mean, this oh. is really great for, like, say, for part of our mission statement, you know? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Stewardship is the secret here. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Elijah, can you talk a little bit about stewardship and what that means? Well, it's the new paradigm word for management. It's, it's like the replacement of the, and it's, it's the governing system. And it's getting out of ownership and getting into stewarding. And why is it the color? Like it's like a it's like a pinkish, it's like almost a fuchsia color. Magneta. Sorry? Magneta. Magnet? Oh magneta. Okay. And what's that mean? Do you mean magenta? Yeah. Magenta. Magenta. <laughs> well, that's kind of like the backside of the heart in a way. Oh. It's Looking the back side of green. It's the opposite. It's the, it works with green, right? Mm -hmm. oh. Does it? Magenta works with green? Magenta? Yeah, because the back, our heart, the, the front of our heart is green, but the opposite, like the opposite of green is magenta. They mm. kind of, yeah. But do you know, can you say something about that word? Elijah? Or that uh, color? Just that, like, the color code system kind of came in. And that's what came in there. Okay. I, uh, Did somebody mention violet? Was that one of the color color patterns? Not in this one. Not in this one. Okay. No. I'll save that for the next. Well, Elijah, which one is violet? I'm just trying to think because I thought stewardship was a little more to the purple. And then the one or the next one to it is a kind of a purplish pinky. Maybe that's magenta. That's because well, the, stewardship. Hmm? No, research is the purple and politics is the red. Right. Okay. And then, and then right. In between that is the governing. Okay. The reddish purple. Yeah. Or purplish red. How to get the, this to work? What's the numbers, um, uh, Shanoa, on that stewardship card? It's a 3.9. 3.9, okay. Yeah. No, this is good for me for, I would say, even thinking about the, the mission statement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's cool. And the question was, how will humanity survive when the earth unleashes? <laughs> mm, oh, that's a beautiful one. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, you fucking nailed it on that question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can I, can I paint a tetrahedron for you guys for a second? Sure. You just imagine a shape that's a tetrahedron with four corners, and one corner is violet, one corner is hue, one corner is man, and one corner is womb. 
Can you feel that? Can you see that for a second? Just for a moment. That's all it takes. That's all I'm asking for. What are the four corners again? One is violet. One is hue. One is man. One is womb. Oh. Yeah. Magenta works with green. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, can you read your question one more time, Genoa? That was a really beautiful question. How will humanity survive when the earth unleashes? How will humanity survive when the mm -hmm. Earth unleashed. Oh, okay. Cool. Thank you. Like we really have to work together, you know, that's what I'm getting here. And um, and we have to reach for the highest standards and just allow transformation to occur. But I don't think it's about being a lone wolf, you know. Mm. Those are great words for the you're right for the mission statement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Does anyone have any other questions they would like to put forth or are we coming to the end of the meeting? Um, I don't know if I have a question, but um, maybe um, I could show people what the, the list I made. Sure. Um, do you have it? Can you, you want to share the screen? Can you do that? I don't know if, or do you have it or? Uh, let me see if I can find it here. Where is it? Are you watching? Okay. Oh, nice. Oh, that's really cool. Do you want to go through each one as we go through it? Okay. Um, so I was thinking, yeah, like a, an introduction package where um, we would develop a pamphlet and have the info on that. Uh, there were some questions that I wrote down. Um, yeah, for a, for like a, yeah, a little bit of an introduction uh, to what's going on and what we're doing. If anyone wants to add anything to it, um, please feel free. Hmm. Or maybe even how do I become involved or in this very secret plan or whatnot. But, um, this is what would go physically in your kit. Um, again, yeah, if anyone wants to add 
ideas. I was thinking, yeah, like I could make them geared towards um, a certain person. I was also thinking last night that it would be really cool to have ones with, um, like I have a friend that makes amps. So um, he's made a speaker for me where I can just plug in and I can charge my phone and then I can, it's also a speaker. So I was thinking it kind of, you need to even develop uh, something that comes with a charger for your phone or something like that too, as well, like a battery charger. Um, yeah, uh, what do we have here? So whatever kind of timing device you prefer, whether it be like an hourglass or I was just getting kind of creative with that one. Uh, huh. What do you guys think? I think it'd be really cool to have a workbook and a calendar so that <clears throat> like in the same thing so that you could, or even just online, uh, you could start that. But I like physical books and writing down reminders myself. I think it's a, it's a great uh, beginning to make a real fun kit mm -hmm. to add in elements that uh, people may not know what to do, but once they're on the missions, because it's uh, getting planetary guardians to go on missions. Oh, that's the ticket suite. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do like my uh, brown manila envelopes that say top secret. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like giving people missions in a secret. <laughs> Manila, uh, Manila envelope, you know, seems like, ooh, you know, this is my mission. Yeah. And, and Larry is, is perfectly su uh, situated in Duncan beside the busiest coffee shop. And Duncan needs things for people to do. Small town, BC, it really needs things for people to do. And, and Lara's had an idea about going on quests and missions out of her store for a long time. So this would be the beginning of putting all that together. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah. Amazing. So some of them can be, and I've like further along, I've added like different missions, whether, whether it be like a personal mission, a group mission, a community mission, or a person, uh, or a sacred mission. I've got those down there, but, um, wow. so I, made different packages in different uh, spaces in the five different spaces. And I added a color and uh, I haven't finished putting everything together, but uh, um, each of the five spaces would sit on uh, a wheel with different elements and different colors and different energies um, from each side, which also um, yeah, also has different animal totems as well. And so I was thinking it would be cool if uh, you can personalize your kit and you can choose your own um, swimmer, say, you know, like whether it be like a, like what is your spirit animal as a swimmer? It would be either a whale or a shark or a, or a certain kind of fish or whatnot, frame. Right? These artists. Mm-hmm. That kids would love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess there'd be certain different different kits for different ages. Every age is going to have a much different approach to this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. I think because you deal with so many kids, Larry, you're so good with them, that you're, and your store is perfect for it. Really, mm -hmm. to adapt to the different ages and have the the rooms set up depending upon. You know who's sitting at the synergizer or who's who's going through whatever process mm -hmm. i think for both you and uh, Lori, where the custom designing like we'll start out with a sort of initial thing but both of you are going to custom design it more towards you know who you want to serve and how your building is mm -hmm. and, and so i think you know Lori and lair are kind of holding down the fort for the testing grounds uh mm -hmm. for you know all the tools yeah. I'm really liking plush animals, like uh, stuffed animals. 
linked to the Enneagram, right? Mm -hmm. Get kids equating understandings of the energies in the Enneagram cyclic uh, variables through relating to stuffed animals, right? That they're anchoring those frequencies to different color patterns, right? So they're feeling those vibrations, they're hugging, they're loving those vibrations, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Or even just little figurines too, or something like that as well. Like, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, absolutely. All that, all that equates very well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, what else do we have? Can we go back up to different spaces again? Um, want to... So, okay. Uh, oh, wait, one more up, I think, is a. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know, is it? Yeah. Where was it? I thought I had a sacred. It's close, it's very close. Sacred one? There? Oh, that's. Oh, I had a... yeah. Oh, that's very close, yeah. <laughs> What's that? There's that violet. I was talking about yeah, that. there's the violet. Yeah, the indigo and the violet. Um, do, do, do. yeah so like I guess the first I think the sacred space one would be maybe the first step uh, the self-discovery process um, maybe yeah learning and putting in your your astrology uh, astrology your gene keys your Mayan sign who what makes you um, and then also you can input that into the system and then we know where uh where people maybe even that anagram that um that laurie sent me too as well go on there um or anything else anyone else wants to add calibration mm -hmm. rocketry that seems appropriate <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. And then also, yeah, like getting getting to know what the divinatory uh, the divinatory process is with the cards and the maps and how to how to utilize it. And then this would be the perfect kind of first um, first thing to do is like put your own stuff on a wheel or a map or yeah. You know. um, and then after that, I was thinking, are we still going to work on? Um, yeah, combo types, I thought, would be the primary um, yeah. card set for that one. Mm -hmm. Um, hmm. Any other cards people think to add? And then after, oh yeah, what would the primary map be for that one? Voltage curriculum. Yeah, what would be the primary map? Um, Self discovery. Yeah, that's well, mm -hmm. prob probably the value system. The value system, putting all your. I, th I yeah. think I think the most important thing of all is the value system. Like on an outer U map, like a. Yeah, like, like a flow map. I mean, yeah, on a flow map, yeah. Or it could be the sacred spaces of all the spaces uh, is that value level. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, mm. Yeah. I mean, that's where the sort of universalism is coming in. Of, of, it could apply to any worldview, but still not really interfere with them, hopefully. Do you think that's a good first starter map? If people were starting with the sacred space, they would use the values map. Maybe the the that's five nice. maybe the five spaces map because you can make values in that, and that's almost like the starting of everything because all of these are the breakdown of that. Mm -hmm. So the start you start everyone with that first five communication map. Okay, I put that one in the um, in the personal space. You can, but, you can do it there too. Yeah. It's, 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 well, it, yeah, maybe it's good to introduce it into the first one and then the second one goes, because what I'm trying to kind of create is a graduated kind of licensing, you know? Yeah. It's like first start with like getting to know yourself, then getting to know, and then putting that into 
um, and then who you are in your community and who you are in each, each space. And, mm -hmm. and then you really can, yeah, because everybody needs to start with understanding themselves um, and how they work. Um, maybe we should put that down there as a primary map then, just to write it down. Because then also you have the values and let's say one year goals and that's the starting place to kind of uh yeah yeah that's a good yeah yeah from there everything kind of goes you're helping people to get organized for the next year right okay. elijah can you put goals slash intentions i really like the word yeah, i like that too yeah. yeah 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 there's something very special about that yeah mm -hmm. there is mm-hmm Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see that. Cool. Thoroughly. Um, so if we go to the next one, the, well, are we ready? Uh, to the next one, to the personal space package. Oh, that's great. Then you get a, a choice deck. Okay. And then um, maybe we can add a different map there if we're going to. Maybe that could be, I mean, the first think. thing could be the seven lifetime goals. Yeah, absolutely. I think I put that one for one on one. Well, because these would be your own personal goals. So they wouldn't go in the one on one. Two people, part of the process would be each looking at each other's lifetime goals to start to mm -hmm. understand where, uh, the, where the other person is aiming. That's why I put that in there as one on one, but um, it could, like it it goes yeah. in both. Seven. Yeah, it goes in both for sure. Seven. Seven. And I guess the different mission for it would be like there's your personal lifetime goals, and then okay, what would be the shared ones? What would be your shared goals, and how do you integrate that on the one on one? Yeah. I would say elementally seven is what I would say. Mm -hmm. See how I put the seven step process, like teaching someone the seven step process on right uh, through the one on one space. That's why I was thinking too. Um, uh, this is where you could get a, um, a counselor or instructor to help guide you through it as well. Right. Yeah, makes sense. Mm -hmm. It sure does. Because it's, yeah, the first one on one experience talking this new language, right? Do you want to explain the arrows a bit here? Yeah, sure. Um, so, this is also another thing that you would definitely need to accomplish before you reach or start dabbling in group spaces, um, <laughs> especially, yeah, group spaces without the knowledge of your arrows is there's a lot of things that happen I find like this is where the exact uh, problems kind of persist in communicating with others sorry guys I've left I've lost my audio I'm just gonna try to rejoin I don't oh. know if you can hear me I'll be right back okay. <laughs> Nova's on the current <laughs> so okay so the arrows um, there's seven of there's seven dark arrows there's um, seven light arrows, and then there's seven rainbow arrows. So basically, this is also a really good time to, um, let's see here. Um, victory, is that what you're going to say? What's that? Equate victory? <laughs> Equate vi victory. Uh, no, well, just getting to know what you're throwing out there. What are you throwing out in the world in your conversations? So for an example, like, um, well, the dark arrows would be um, like judgment, comparison, um, um, ooh, what else do we got? Do I have that in there? Greed. Um, we're gonna think of the seven of them. <laughs> um, Greed. Uh, two. Delta, Delta two. Uh, okay. Anger. No, um, attachment, 
um, comparison, judgment, dependency, the needy child syndrome, self-importance, and expectations. Pendulum. Pendulum. Hmm. So those would be the dark arrow. So if you're going to be in a conversation and you're going to use any of these things, it's most likely not going to end the exact ways that you want it to. <laughs> it causes uh, conflict. Um, so a lot of these things you can avoid if you're realizing what you're putting out there, what you're shooting out in your arrow. Like, so everyone has a quiver in their back and that's what you're shooting out in your conversations. So instead of using judgment or using comparison or using these different things, each one is a new, is a lesson, is a huge lesson in, in, in yourself. Um, and so once you use a light arrow or a white arrow that you put there. I put like it. light. Yeah, light. Light. Uh, light, is, light it, arrow, beautiful. Yeah. So you use a light arrow to cancel out the, the dark See. arrow. And as soon as you do that, you receive the, in the gift of a rainbow arrow. And I don't know if you guys have noticed that you actually do receive that gift in life when you um, pay attention to it. Um, what are the light arrows? The light arrows are um, uh, self-awareness, um, uh, self-appreciation, self-love, self-awareness, self-appreciation, self self-love, um, self-pleasure, and self-actualization, and the seventh is impeccability yeah absolutely mm -hmm. so you can use those tools and then it shoots your dark arrow right out of the air right before it gets to someone else's ears <laughs> mm -hmm. so once you use that that arrow what is the, what is the rainbow arrow equate so the rainbow arrow yeah, the rainbow arrow. Open, open heart to heart communication. Heart to heart communication. Mm -hmm. um, illumination. The word that came up today. Illumination. Okay. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Balance of female and male energies. Polarity or specifically gender? Well, female and male energy, the balance of it within yourself and within everything. Male and female? Energies, yeah. Male and female energy. Mm -hmm. um, in a, just, just write in our energy. Yeah. Male. Yeah. Yeah. Seven. Um, what else? Seven. Abundant <laughs> prosperity. And Ooh, that's a, that's delightful. Um, but <laughs> what else is there? Oh, um, gaining introspection and natural intuition. Ooh, not, ooh, interesting. Natural intuition in the seams of prosperity. Um, well, just a, yeah, natural intuition within, um, okay. within grand, Grandmother Earth and just knowing what, yeah. Uh, where are we at? What do we got? One, two, three, four, five. Six. Oh, there's another one. Um, there's certainly, there's certainly one more. What is it? What do I got here? You get to seven. Is that where you're going? 
Yeah, I'm trying to remember which one. I try to do it without my book, but I'll open my book and see. Open heart to heart communication. Full. I think it's in prosperity. Abundance and prosperity. Natural. Of energy, heart to heart communication, mm -hmm. gaining wisdom, alignment, and balance of harmonic resonance. Harmonic so resonance. Wisdom. I guess it would be wisdom. Ooh, wisdom is excellent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dig it. This is, is this twisted hair? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what's, what's the book called? Called, uh, well, Shermanic Wheels and Keys. It's like that amazing green book. An expensive book. Cost me like a hundred and something dollars. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Wow. Incredible book. It's incredible though. It is incredible. Yeah. How do you how do you spell fuck is that demonic word? wheels and keys? Mm-hmm. Cool. Everything's in it. Like everything. Oh. It's yeah. amazing. Mm -hmm. Elijah, I'm getting goosebumps with these with her saying all this stuff. It's it's very wow, advanced Lara. knowledge. Very, like oh, it's from no it's all the hidden knowledge that came out like lips Lip, lips lips what? lips that's the one that's the one i was searching for lips lips what? So keep lips. Going there? absolutely mm -hmm. okay so basically i think that it's really important at the one-on-one -on -one space to know these things um because then right there you can kind of practice with another person and and reflect and mirror each other realizing like you know uh what you are putting out there and what how amazing it could be to um to always use your rainbow arrows in life right and i think we all have at, at some point right we've gotten that gift from the universe it's like oh when i went through this with this person and when i used the right you know right tools i was able to have a really awesome heart to heart conversation or I was, I was, um, I reached a balance between um, whatever it is inside myself, whether it be like overly masculated or, or, or feminine, right? Like you're, um, you're able to create a better um, balance with, within the conversation with someone else. Um, yeah, so that's, I think that's, that part is huge. And it also kind of ties into um mm -hmm. what do we have um what's below this after my i have with the what path are you on surrounded it rounds it's like got it's got a railing hmm what's going uh what's further down there elijah what do we got here? Oh, what is the seven step process? So this is Elijah's, that's where that comes in, where it's like the start, the build up, the, or the start, set up, build up. So there's exactly seven in, um, so I was thinking that would be the magical number of, is the seven at this point. Hmm. So teaching this seven start pulse and this um, this whole form. form, yeah. And then you can um, you can start organizing your week. You can start organizing your lifetime goals. You can start organizing lots of different things. That one. So explaining this in this package i think would be important and getting people to start using this pulse within yourself and um so yeah pulse pulse i like that mm -hmm. yeah the pulse has the rhythm to it mm -hmm. 
And then I thought also, well, <laughs> we're learning all this stuff. We might as well learn the six cosmic laws in this, <laughs> in this, um, yeah. Oh, yes. So this one would be cool. Yellow. So it would be creativity. So yeah, definitely using your creativity in, um, in this whole process. In the infrastructure. Okay, so oh, well. so the six cosmic laws, cosmic laws, yeah. Um, do you want to write those ones down? Sure, sure. Yeah. absolutely. Okay, uh, number one is death. Death. Uh, death gives and creates life. Death. Say one more time. Give, gives slash Give. creates life. Creates. Create, 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 create. Life. Mm -hmm. Life. Okay, so death eight. creates eight. Life. I'm gonna put eight at the end of that one. Mm -hmm. uh, very, very prominent eight. What after one? It creates life. That's what yeah. Death gives slash creates life eight. Yeah. Slash creates. Yeah. Just the, uh, spelling around create is a little weird. Um, and then life gives rebirth. Rebirth? Yeah. Oh, that's illumination. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm, beautiful. And then the third Does one is rebirth gives movement. And then the fourth one, movement. Fourth one, movement, movement on, on. Just one second. Change. Yes. Just like a twisting categories, movement, zip drive, Chinoa. Um. Sorry. Relating. Rebirth, illumination. Illumination. Yeah, I just wanted to hear your your currency on illumination for rebirth. Four four. is illumination. Blair, what's number four? Number four is oh movement. Movement gives change. Movement movement gives movement gives change. Mm hmm. And then the fifth is uh, change. change. Change produces. Change, change. Pro chaos. Pr produces. Yeah, chaos. Produce. Change produces chaos. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. That's a nice equation. And then the sixth. Movement gives change. Change <laughs> produces chaos. Is uh, illumination. This is the last one. What is, who knows what it is? <laughs> uh, and chaos I brings you man womb. Think of a circle. Chaos produces death. Yeah. Pretty death. Use light arrow equate. Mm hmm. So there we go. International. So yeah, basically okay. in every situation, this is your, you can always count on that. Okay. <laughs> you can always Absolutely. count on that. Can I, can I ask for some assistance for Cap Captain Swift? Can you help me spell apocalypse? Uh -huh. A P 
A P O C A L Y P S E. Y P S E. Y P S E. A P O C A L Y P S E. Anyway, that's my guess at it. Hold on, one, one, one moment. I just want to like um, I just want to reference that data. <laughs> Sorry if this the might upcoming take apocalypse. Okay, can you just um. I don't know where this is, but can you create that one more time? Say it again, Elijah. A P O C A L Y P S E. That's it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, French Connection. The apocalypse. There we go. Sent, delivered, received. Larry, you want to go through the group package? Yeah. Hey, sorry guys, I've got to step out at this point. Okay. Um, Thank you for being here. Um, yeah. Sorry it went on so yeah. long. I just seemed everyone. No, that's okay. okay. I just, yeah, I just have to do a few things. But yeah, this is insane. I know. So, <laughs> I know. It's this crazy. Is like a, mass, a massive amount of stuff. Wow. <laughs> but it feels good to organize it. It really does. Well, yeah, this is going to be intense. Like, the yeah, organization of all of this stuff, I think it's going to be a huge, huge piece of what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Like once we get a lot, all this organized, uh, a lot of stuff can come together faster. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. it cleans up really nicely. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought too. It makes yeah, it's great how it. I was able to just. I was able to um, use concentration. <laughs> You can only get really excited about something unless I really get excited about something. Um, Welcome. Okay, so the group space, we got the collective dream. Collective dream. Um, yeah, each one I put a different, put where the dream is too mm. as well. So if you, I could always share this with everybody too. Um, the node, the node. Okay, so okay, so the primary map would be the learning what the times translator I was thinking would be. I think that would be a good one. <laughs> I, just, time I, I just felt it funny. Um, yeah, I need a lesson on that one. Yeah. So I was thinking that would be a good time to bring in that map because then that gets people to think about their um, their lifetime goals and put that on a time time map. I think that's really important, and especially with integrating with a group, it would be good to know where where other people are in that times structure. Um, so yeah, so then this is where you'll learn about the nine um, uh, <laughs> sorry <laughs> the nine creativity uh, the nine yeah, that's the, yeah. the seven to the nine that's the that's the trick here. Ah here we go. Mm -hmm. yeah. The seven to the nine. The eight is fucking solid. Elijah, fucking fantastic. <laughs> yep, it's that seven to the seven, nine. Seven to the nine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that equation, that can be a little more, more jolly. Jolly is a good word for that channel. Jolly. Mm -hmm. A large belly. Community space. Uh, we still are, we're, we were in the group. What, oh, was, what was the last one? The last. Uh, okay, so this is yeah showing people the nine times time cycles, what they mean, what it, so the ones would be like uh, present moment. Um, all those, we can, I can put them in after, um, to save time, 
and the 10, we want to do that. Yeah, okay. Lifetime, yearly, monthly, mm. hourly, That's lunar thing, right. sorry. Yeah. yeah. Daily, seasonal, weekly, hourly, minute to minute, present moment. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And then so the primary map would be the times, times trans, translator map thing. Look. Soundlessness. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then um, since it's a nine, I thought the synergy map would be good to add some wheel exercises of some sort. So um, there's some different questions and then integrating the, uh, the very secret plan. And the web TV show, all that kind of stuff, how to get involved as a group, how to get involved with, um, with creating your own group within this group, stuff like that. Um, magical laws. The magical laws. Um, I need some more uh, light up in this area here. I didn't write these down already. Uh, seems <laughs> like it's very fast. <laughs> so, yeah, these ones are a lot. Um, do, do, do. Okay. I think just I'll call the meeting at six o'clock because it's yeah, two I hours think, and I think people got to get going. So yeah, I can, uh, I can I'd add. Why don't you quickly finish up with yeah. the uh, community space? Okay. Yeah. And then I'll add the laws after. Yeah. And then, yeah. Okay. So then we got the community space. I thought would be good to, this is where we really implement our values. So the value deck using the harmonizer table and the harmonizer map. Um, I think it's important to plug in all your information within the, within your community. This is what I do. This is what I like to do. This is what I'm available for. Um, how I can help my community. This is how I'd like to help my community. So everybody can kind of, um, see and get on the same page. I think it'd be great. Love it. Um, oh yeah, and this is where I was thinking, yeah, my different things, like different um, different missions could happen, like a scavenger hunt. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And, yeah, like group, group. Um, yeah. Um, exercises, group exercises, yeah. trust exercises. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Rock and roll. Stuff like that. Yeah, that's song, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's the rub. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then this is where we can implement like, oh yeah, these are the natural laws and the 144 warriors are going to come here and we're going to come together. And we're going to try to take over the world. Pinky. Um. <laughs> Well, that's wonderful. It's a great, uh, great start. Lots of great stuff in there. Mm -hmm. And then when we get, then we get to the fun stuff. Um, where I've, where I've implemented, these are these ideas that I have that I think would be really great to <laughs> utilize. Um, so yeah, there's, okay. First, I'm going to start with the the conversational uh, the, the conversational kung fu classes. So it's like uh, 
implementing and utilizing your um, your combo killer deck and having a conversation. Um, and I think the, the object of the game would be trying um, not to use your combo killers, but um, uh, showing people when they are using it, right? When they are and being able to show the card that people are doing. Doing, yeah. I think that that would be the fun, a fun game with this session or this package. Um, so, so I think that that also is very important, like learning the arrows and then learning your conversational killers, um, especially, yeah, that whole thing. And then um, I was thinking of a um, conflict re resolution packages where either organize a council or organize a counselor to help either you going through your inner um, uh, your inner blocks or get through to your inner blocks or blocks within um, uh, people in your family or your friends or whatnot. Um, yeah, so that's, I know that's a really big job, but um, I was thinking to help with that, we could give um, reality checks. <laughs> so, <laughs> so a really nice loving way to give someone a reality check in the form of a check might sound more, um, more of an acceptable thing than a, than a jab or a, um, um, or what, what would do people normally do? They would um, blast others. Um, or just cancel them out completely. So instead of doing that, if you could give a reality check to someone, um, just explaining that uh, your point of view or your perspective in a situation so that they can understand um, the situation on their perspective. Mm -hmm. So what did I write here? Express your truth in a non-aggressive way. Give someone a happy check of reality. <laughs> Please note that you will put yourself at risk the more your agreements haven't been communicated clearly. Or if you haven't completed up to the one-on-one -on -one package. Yeah. But... Uh -huh, uh -huh. Hey, we're coming to the end, Lara. Um... Mm -hmm. And then, okay, so moving on to a healing plan package. So we could do a healing plan for someone. Um, uh, Elijah, you've done great healing plan maps for communities and for people. Um, I think that's important to implement into all this. And what else do we got? I think that's the end because we're coming to the end. Oh, okay. I thought there was a, my products, all the products. Um, okay, we can do it. Well, it's just 5.58, and uh, I just wondered if anyone had anything else that they wanted to add in, uh, in saying goodbye or saying something. Um, I will say I'm looking forward to the next meeting to see the rest of Lara's stuff. And Shanoa, if you'd like, if you and I want to have another call, mm -hmm. we can maybe work on putting some stuff together. Okay. A little I'm bit not sure my, mm -hmm. can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, because it looks like my picture is frozen. <laughs> oh, no, no, you're moving. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Weird. Um, okay, yeah, no, that works for me. Um, let's set something up. I'm available Monday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So yeah, that would be a great idea. Um, maybe let's um, let's message each other so I figure out what it is we're gonna do so I can be prepared for the meeting. Yeah. Okay. That would be good because I think talking out loud through it, it gives us just more ideas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To kind of work on getting the money flowing and different things like that, so. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Jordan, do you have anything to say in parting? I think I muted you a little bit. Oh, 
Jordan. Thank you, Jordan. Muted in the dark. <laughs> okay. And uh, yeah, Larry, we can look at that next week and uh, go step by step on bringing those beautiful packages into being. Okay, mm -hmm. everyone, that's uh, wonderful. Thank you so much for all the time that you spent today. And uh, we're making progress step by step. And uh, at some point, each of us hopefully will be doing exactly what we want to do and making tons of cash doing it. And uh, that is part of the very secret plan. So thank you everyone for coming. And oh, sorry, Jordan, if I muted you at the wrong time, I uh, asked to unmute, but anyway, love you all. And yeah, love and sharing great, the cash. Have a great week. <laughs> Bye everybody. Thanks. Bye.